If you want to eat that ranched ass, you gotta pay for that fucking gas. Welcome to The Walking Dead. Well, those sure were words. I am your host, the Rubbish Raccoon, and I'm here with the co-host, who has <laughs> to big boast. Uh, I don't know what that means, but hi. I'm back. And we are back doing more season two, episode four technically now. Which what? is called yeah. Amid the Ruins. Amid. Amid. That says Amid. Amid. <laughs> okay. Oh, the character's what name is... was Omid, not Amid. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Amid. I, th I thought it was a play on words. I'm confused. What is... Is that blood all over her face? Could be. And who is that? Is that us? Yeah. Mush. Where the fuck you see Mush? That episode is called... That part that chapter is called Mush. That's what I just said. Or Mush, maybe? I hate how that episode looks like we we're gonna deal with her baby. Well... It, it's like a thing, right? Yeah, you gotta keep them guessing, I guess. Fuck us. Previously on The Walking Dead! Previously. Hey, the rubbish bin has arrived. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? How am I supposed to raise a child? I was Don't a trick friend when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. You kinda are. <laughs> Fucker. No! Yeah, beat his ass! No! Stop it! I will pay to watch that each time. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Imagine how much that stinks. Go on. Right, but, I mean... How often do they Let's shower go. anyway? I'm sure it's they stink just as bad. I think dead bodies could always be stinkier. Well, that's true. That's not the Kimmy I know in there. <laughs> Are you gonna be alive long it's enough not, to know the God, real I Kimmy? hate when she says that. <laughs> you put it three times now. All right, it's time. What chop did we off choose? her fucking arm. What did we choose last time? Will to it chop show off us? her arm. Stop spoiling! I'm trying to add suspense! <laughs> but it didn't show us. And also, we streamed this this morning, so... Where's my subtitles? The Walking Dead. Uh, 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 excuse me. Well, okay. <laughs> well, fuck her. Yeah, Kenny! She's dead! You can't cut off all her limbs! Yeah. And she was cute. I didn't like her very much. She's dead, man. She's dead. Nah, man, let's just be silent. It's okay. We don't need to confront Kenny. I have such a hate boner. <laughs> oh, I love you, baby. Just remember that. I know I know. Do it, Clem. No. Can yes. you remember that? Yes! Fuck you, kid! You do? Fuck you, what dude! Going on? Fuck. Why? It won't Why? suffer now. Yeah. It won't suffer now. We have to go. Stop it, fucking kid! Sorry, Kenny. Damn it, man. Go on. on your head, Clementine! I'm just like Lee. Okay. I guess. 
Bitch. I'm going after Sarah. Oh, no, God. Nick. I kind of like you. Kenny. Uh, he's okay. Yeah. No, okay, why don't. Do I care about Kenny. Like seriously, fuck him. Very well, if there's a walker on you, maybe they won't attack you. No, they will. The question, did all of them notice that? I... Yeah, put some flesh blood on and walk slowly. We're gonna find Mama Jane, I think. Keep quiet. We're gonna keep quiet. We're not gonna say anything. We're not yeah. gonna pull a Carlos. <laughs> Rebecca! You know what? I'm happy we found Rebecca. Yeah. Um, we need we're to keep still moving. covered in walker guts. We're still covered yeah. in walker guts. There you go. Yeah, cause there, that, there's a lot of gunfire happening. Yeah, stick with Rebecca. I'll stick with you. Yeah, Rebecca's cool now. I, you know what? It took a few episodes, but I, I kind of love Rebecca now. Like yeah. she had a cool little redemption arc. She did. Yeah, there's a slight opening. We gotta wait. Gotta wait. I'm wait. I'm waiting. I'm clicking on any opening I see. Oh. Was I too fucking late? Yeah, I was too late. Fuck. You are dead. 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 Well, this is our first time we died since we started playing, so... Yeah, that's I... not bad, actually. And that's only because I was being stupid trying to figure out... Yeah, we still got Walker Guts. She's scared because she's in pain because the baby. Do you think if a zombie ate her, they'd get two for one meal? Um, yes. But if she just got bit, would the baby be bit? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. They never really explained that throughout the show. It's Mama! You need to walk slowly. We can't clump together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just you guys are fine. I'll stay with Rebecca. Just go. Mama Jane got herself. Your choice. You're gonna be okay, Rebecca. Rebecca, look at her go. We can do it too. Damn it. I knew Mama Jane would turn back. Mama Jane ain't no monster. We'll make a cow catcher. Just we need. Just tell me what to do. Oh, a what? There. That one looks light enough to carry. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're gonna cut off a mouth. Go. Hey, over here. Not gonna bite anybody now, are you? Follow me. So here's the thing. I want to say, um. Another way to walk past walkers is a certain character, I won't name him, but in the comics, her introduction was basically she had two walkers on chained leashes, 
with the mouths and arms cut off. Whoa. And if you walk with those, if she, when she walked with those two walkers, other walkers didn't realize she wasn't one of them. Huh. It's a really interesting Weird. concept. Yeah, why, I wonder. Because they think, because she's walking slow like them and with them, and the, the, the zombies themselves' guts can be smelled around her, that's yeah. why. And she was also very silent. Oh. There's also a group of people in the comics that wear walker skin. Yeah. Like Don't they, fall behind, it says. I know. It literally... It, they, it, they literally wear the skin of the dead. Ew. It's really cool. Because they call themselves the Whispers. You're falling behind. I'm pressing forward as hard as I can. Okay. Good Jane. Mama Jane is a good girl. She That's helped cool. she helped them. Yeah. She's a good girl. I knew Mama Jane wouldn't let me down. I knew I trusted the right person. And it's cool too because like the fact that you can cover yourself in guts and not be, you know, found out if you just go slow and not talk. It's such a cool concept for a zombie series, you know? Yeah. Bean, stop being mean. Ah! You dropped it. Yeah. Rebecca. Uh, are you okay? Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. She's gonna go into labor. Uh, Excuse me. Be a lot better once we get with the others. We need to make Alvin sure is dead. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. I think Bonnie's dead. I don't know. Maybe not. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. You know, Jane's really pretty. Jesus. Yes, she is. We're safe. What if the I want to call her mama. We're That's fine. what I said. I know. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. Gotta be careful. We gotta take care of Rebecca because she's really scared because she's pregnant. Escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but... Maybe Alvin died in our faces. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working... Should we say Jane saved us? Should we give credit to Mama Jane? Um... What was the other two options? One was the plan worked. Yeah, the plan worked <laughs> and we could have tried something different. Jane I'm, saved us. I'm gonna go with Jane. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We yeah. panicked, we were scared. Carlos the got fucking was good. The execution bit. was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Technically it was. <laughs> just <gasps> Oh, if the cry. office taught me anything, sorry. it's I'm pregnant so woman can get out of any conversation. Uh, yeah, take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Please, Rebecca, don't have labor right here. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin? He's dead, is what he is. Are you Jane? okay? <laughs> Okay. Are you okay? I, I want to say Jane can help because Mama Jane. Okay? Yeah, but I don't want to volunteer her for it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We could have also said Kenny can help, <laughs> but we know Kenny. What do you mean by that? Uh, We're gonna sorry. eat it. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, we'll know, look after it. We'll all look after it. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And that's true. I won't be capable Jinx, send you me a Coke. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you okay. might Okay, now, now our moms are fighting. Back when it started, Rebecca's not a mom. Sister, we what? Were... 
She died? I don't need your pity. Rebecca's our friend. Jane's our mom. You don't have the right. Jane! God damn it. Jane, wait. Jane, wait. Jane's our mama. We gotta go with her. Yeah. Damn it. I think Lee would really like Jane. I think so. Here we are. This is the thing. I know, I know. Alright, so no, she's alive. Holy shit. He's alive. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Kenny. Rebecca needs a safe place. Yeah. Who the fuck cares about Kenny? Really? She needs some place safe to to do that. Baby, I have to say I'm sorry that I chose the option to immediately kill Kenny's wife. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. I know I should have asked, but I think it's the best choice. She was going to die anyway. Yeah, I agree. Else gets here, we'll figure something out. You and I like the idea of pissing off Kenny. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? We don't care what Kenny. Cares? Yeah. I tried to him. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. He wants to kill himself. I hope he does. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's it's just, my he's fault, I guess? <laughs> I'm I not- think, No! I've seen <laughs> Kenny like this before. We have seen- I have, at least. But I'm not <laughs> saying it's our fault. I refuse to take responsibility. I just say I've seen Kenny like this before when his son died, right? So. Yeah, his son and his wife. Something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll, I don't know, snap out of it? No. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't right. think so. Let's vote him out of the group. Now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. They will remember that. I don't <laughs> want to talk to him. I know it's hard. Why are you guys you trying to make me hard. fucking? But it might be best. No! Clem, just remember, you did what you thought was right. That's Why are they trying to force situation. me to fucking talk to him? Because we to have to to advance the plot. <laughs> I don't want to! I have made it abundantly Sorry, clear. Wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. <laughs> yeah, can he just put it to the temple? And pull the trigger. <laughs> you think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? Everyone's sneaking What's behind him like Kenny? we're distracting Why's him. Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Literally, we just got out of that for like five minutes ago. Uh, we need to figure out a plan. We need to figure out a plan. We need your help to figure out a plan. We don't need his help. Take a look at how our last plan worked out. There ain't some boat or some train or some other bullshit out of this one. Well, you know what? Don't you Your fucking you girlfriend was an idiot. Can we be real here? Yeah. Nico, please. Uh, I did what I, what I thought was right. Yeah, Nicola is trying to hold my hand. I'm okay, baby. Sarita is dead. And you're telling me you did. All you could do. No, we did you what was right. Little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care. That because you're sorry, he's making us cry. Go away? That's not how it works. Can we just axe his fucking head right now? Yeah. He's being a huge cunt. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. You knew her for like what a few months, and then she fucked up the plan, and you're blaming us. Fuck you, dude. Clem, how'd it go? Can I just say it went great? I kind of want to lie. Uh, um, Kenny's being a jerk. Kenny's being a jerk. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. No, we hate him. Can can he just die? 
At least you tried. Still, it doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food. Nico, no why are you attacking me? Why are you trying to play? Cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. Ow, ow, Nico. Why are you attacking me? We can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now. Uh, you still have a baby on your hands. We should too. keep moving. Ow. Ow. What do you think? Ow, Nico. Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go Cassie. according to plan. It's just got me on edge, all right? Rebecca need Cassie. What? I'm here. I was I asking know. your opinion. You were yelling at Nico. And <laughs> asking your opinion. She's holding my hand down. I'm going to take a picture for you to well, show too you. Well, late now. Yeah. Cause... You should have been listening. <laughs> I'm listening. You weren't before. Hold on. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna send you a photo. I want you to look at it. Hey, I'll look. <sighs> Come here, baby. Oh my god, you are such a pussy. You're such a pussy. Your cat just puts a little bit of claws in you and you're like, Aah! Well, she shouldn't be a dick. She really just started wanting to play and I'm trying to play with her a little bit right now and now she wants to leave. I love you, Nico. It's a safe, warm place to have right. a baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find Are you ready? Yeah. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Oh boy. I believe that when we get back, um... They're gonna be attacked? She's gonna have her baby. Oh. What if it's both? Listen, yeah. Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Only you and Kenny have gun? Please don't let it be only you and Kenny. Nico! Why you gotta be ass? Next time you sit in front of TV, I'm just gonna spray you. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. We all kind of planned it, though. You might be right, I guess. So why are we out here? It yeah. didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So. Where's our friend Sarah? I wanted to talk to you. Away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. About what? Please say Kenny that group sucks. Is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. Uh, you don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning I on can't you. leave These are them. Good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. Cassie, you there? How much help is Kenny? I'm here. Okay. What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, What should we say? And all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you been along, alone this whole time? Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. There's a car here. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. I told you, she's Mama hard. Jane. A walker will bite right through that. My she sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. So now I know her sister was about our age. Uh-huh. Um, I always wanted a sister. I always wanted a sister. 
I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. I knew that would get her to talk. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't Is that what why. sisters Is that do? Really what it's like having a sister? Um, <laughs> no, yes and no. But what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> you must Every feel really relatable to Jane. Amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd. I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Mama Jane. Mama Jane found a jackpot. Bet these walkers Ooh. got some good stuff. Bet just one of them's still alive. Oh, never that mind. One's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. Let's search them. Yeah. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Yeah. Let's see what else he's got. It's better to, you one. know, double tap him. What does that mean? Hit him twice. Bullets. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Alright. Ow, Nico, what the fuck? That's funny. She jumps on my stomach as hard as she Find can. Anything? Uh, stuff. Just uh, stuff. Stuff? Stuff? Just stuff? Wow. You already sound like a teenager. Yes. Nothing useful. I don't know what to tell you. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there. A uh, short while. Like I was with a better group before. <laughs> I a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> she really misses her sister. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but like, how long ago did she die? Sometimes it doesn't matter how long. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Oh. <gasps> these glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. This doesn't All mean we know she's is dead. That he was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Mama! Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Yeah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Uh... Looks like there's an opening over there. Our friend's alive! Oh, she's saying shit as in, like... Oh. Nick? Oh, Nick. It's Nick. Were you bit? Well, clearly. He could have died from blood loss. We should do this. Should we do it? Yeah, I mean, she's strong. Goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. We hated you at first, but in the end, we're kind of starting to like you.
Turns like, out she, I guess I she didn't have that much brains after all. I was gonna say, I guess we can call ourselves Colibri now. Wow. I like my joke better. Yeah. I guess. But both of our jokes are really relevant. Oh. Gross. Disgusting. It's alright. It's done. Well, I mean, it's not alright. He's dead. Or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. I mean, we... No hesitation. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, yeah, I know. I mean, no, it's better to say I know, because we literally just killed Sarita. Like, it was nothing. Yeah, we also killed Lee. Seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. You giving us a sh a shiv? We can do this. Mama. Mama, thank you, Mama. I told you she's our new mama. They better okay, not be so hurting Sarah. Don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. Oh, uh, how do we find them? Oh. Oh. I know you are. I Sorry, you I was thinking badass. Mm, badass is good. It lets Mama know that we're strong. To get the other. Go for it. Love our Mama. I find it funny that they tried to make Luke our dad. No, but we can't Luke's forget like, Lee. Luke's like the big brother. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. It sounds like they're doing something to her, and I hope it's not. She's saying I can't, so I think they're just like you have to run, and she's like, "Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down." All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. What the hell is happening? To who? To Sarah. I thought that was gonna be attack. What a fucking bitch. You fucking piece of shit. Let's get it together. Mama Jane! Fuck Take your dick me. ass bitch. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Hell yeah, Mama. Thank you, Jane. But uh I also am hearing Sarah scream, I can't, I can't, I can't, so they look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? Noise. People. Oh. And noise. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side. We can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? Let's make some noise. Right. Hell yeah! I'm sorry, I'm we, we gotta we gotta save her. I don't I mean, like she's screaming. Oh. I remember when I thought that Carver had like done something real creepy and rapey? Yeah. Cause he was he gave me rapey vibes. All right, okay. now this, this is an idea. Ignition switch. On. That works. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. All right. Must be something somewhere. I mean, there's a TV we can look at. That's for sure. What if we can turn it on? Get away! Yeah, it does look pretty strong. Snap out of it. Punch it. Knock on wood. Um, it's what freaking if... me out the way she's screaming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so. What? I'm gonna see if oh. there's anything on him. No. No. We should search him. If we lean him on the horn, he'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Yeah. 
We did it. We got a plan. Everything is A. Fuck. I don't like how she's crying. She's a friend. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go through the trailer, fuck. Let's not just stand here. You Come gotta on. make sure they're all away from it, though. Oops. Oh, no. Knee. And then, scout! And yeah. Come on. Uh oh. We gotta move it. Who moved his body? One of the walkers was like. Then try something else. Uh. Kay. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Oh, oh my God, Jane. Mama, Hurry. we got you. I swear to God, if you're hurting, Help me block this. Hurry! Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He, he made a run for it, looking for help. I, I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Oh, sorry, Luke. I heard y'all banging through the door. Where's Sarah? Where's Sarah? I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Is she bit? Oh man, yeah, she's bit. Sarah, look, look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. She can't see us in HD. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess. Okay, so she's having, like um, she's like straight up out of it because her father she died. Just she's dissociating. Woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Um, gotta do something. maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe she'll listen to me. We have been her best friend this whole time. Listen, I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta. I've been Leave trying. Her. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? We got this. What's wrong with your stomach, Luke? Were you bit? He was hurt. Sarah, it's me. I hope he wasn't bit. Hi. Hugger. You need to listen to me. Do or I, wanna... I really want to hug her. I'm scared that she'll freak out. Okay. But can we please just just try hugging her? Fine. Just, just please. We try. Let's a hug. Remember earlier? 80... Yes. Eighty percent sure she's gonna freak out, but we'll see. All right. You're Shit. right. You're right. We promised her a hug. I thought the hug worked. You're not alone. Um, I know what you're going through. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. We lost our Ever papa. The walkers. So many people I know have died. People I love, and for stupid reasons. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Well, Clem, our friends make us strong. So Jane might be yeah. Right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. 
I was so scared. So please don't You're die. Still here. Because he taught me to be strong. Even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. You know, to be fair, it's kind of Sarah's fault her dad died. Yeah, but, you know... We're not going to okay. say that to her. Yeah. Okay, we got to go now. now. Come on, I'll boost you. Sarah, come on. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're going to need something to stand on. Luke, well, I believe he got help beat up. My car is like literally... Boost. But what you can find. Uh, uh, this. can we use this? It's not big enough. I, um, um, the fridge, forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Okay, furniture. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Yeah, let the crippled right now and the kid do it. I mean, she needs to be the one to protect us. Clem, yeah. Clem, help her. Strong. Help Head. Pop. Go, go. Pop. Mama Jane. Mama Would Jane. Be real nice if Sarah could help right now. If Jane dies, I swear to God, I will lose it. I love Mama Jane. Luke, you first. We need you up top. I want to go in last. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. No, no bitch, Clementine. please! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Convince. Convince, Sarah. I can't, I can't, I can't! Daddy! Don't, don't make me leave you. Come on. Don't die like Dying this, please. Like this is stupid. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me. I know about this. Hurry up! Clementine, grab her. We ain't leaving, Sarah. Jane. Jane, oh, think a bit. We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. Tell me I can't save everyone. I saved my best friend. Mama Jane is hurting because she couldn't save her sister. Don't worry. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? No. <laughs> We're not far. Um, we'll get through this. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. <sighs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. We love you, Sarah. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. Yeah. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. PTSD. Look, I just I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Things aren't that simple. Are. It's okay, I get it. I was like... Hmm. We could have made her feel and guilty, but she's Mama there, Jane and she's helped us, you know? You saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up.
Luke. I just... I can't believe it. Nick. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jump to the next building over. What should we say? You left your sister? Did she turn, I guess? You don't want to be an ass? I'm thinking maybe just stay silent and see what the story goes. Alright. Silence is always an option. She kind of left her sister for dead, but Killed I get it. For a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. I feel like by the end of this episode, Sarah's gonna be dead. We can try and save her. We just have you to see. Them. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? Okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Cassie? Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca? Yes? How about we, uh, Why do you keep muting yourself? For a minute? I'm not muting myself. Oh. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. Nick's no. dead. <laughs> I'm confused. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. What are you but confused I was about? You might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he um, know, mentioned Carlos? Uh, I don't think so. I, guess, I don't think so. No, yeah. I don't think so. But uh, we're not offering Kenny. I don't know Kenny anything. will kill that baby. Mike sure as hell doesn't. I don't even know how Let's to be real here. Jane, and that just leaves. No, I don't. Penny. He no. went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I hope he slid his fucking I wrist. Sense. No, he would have shot himself in the head. He's, he's not well. stupid. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I don't really I want to. It's just you. Someone he knows well. You might be able to get through to him. I don't even know and him I that ask well. You to do it, if it weren't for the baby. The baby. Because we love Rebecca, we will do this. Hold on. Let's see if it'll let me just weasel my way out of this shit. Nope. No weaseling? Come on. We have to do this for Rebecca. Fine, for Rebecca. Knock, knock, Kenny. We need... I don't know. I'm here to check on you. No. We're just gonna be straightforward. We need your help. With Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was After like we deliver the baby, we'll kill you. Watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I 
nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. That must mean it's always Dust. peaceful, though. Gotcha. Sarita. No peace. You're not. You're not dead. We need you. No, stop being a baby. It's hard for everyone. For everyone, but things will get better. Don't what try to the cheer him up. Carver have just finished me off. Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Rebecca needs your help, I guess. That baby's yeah. almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, Get out there. I guess she does. Yeah, we don't care about you, Kenny. We just need you for your utility. Nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. I'm not worried about it. I, I hope it's infected. Anyway. Silence. It's all right, really. We don't Let's like you, dude. It. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? It's time. We Come on, Kenny. On. Yeah, Kenny, don't be a cunt. Thank you for zooming in on a very old blood stain. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Uh. Oh Christ. We should... What do we do? I don't know what we should do. Oh fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. Mom. All right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca travel like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more. Let's before. find a safe place. Is something wrong? Oh God. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Is anyone here Seems local? Like be a good start. I'll go. Good idea, Mike. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah, Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem, I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off off. I trust her? I guess it could be. Um, bad. she's been. Uh... I trust oh, you. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Do right. you trust Mama? I'm, I trust Mama Jane. Okay. We're yeah. For warm blankets, clean water. Uh, check on Sarah, go Jane. Check on Sarah. Everything's gonna be fine. I wanna check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. I like when Luke says something very definitive like that. Why? I don't know. It's yeah, fun. It's I like accent. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Um, Luke tried to save you. Yeah, yeah. Look at the positives. Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? We're best friends. Yeah. We're friends. Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he, when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. He isn't he coming. Isn't coming. <laughs> Sarah, he, your dad. You know he isn't coming, right? Sarah. Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. No, no, I don't think she will. Help okay. Jane. Yeah. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. We gotta go help Mama. Yeah.
Ooh, what are you doing on the computer? What computer? Oh, I hear you mashing things. Sorry. But what are you doing? No. I didn't do anything. I think you're just hearing something else. Oh, Jane. Oh, thanks, Snowcast, for following. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. And yeah. I could hear you. I could hear you switching things. Today. And I don't know if... And I didn't do anything, so I don't know well, what to tell you. It's sometimes good to have someone You're watching You're touching yourself to Mama Jane. <laughs> so, come on, partner. You gotta stop. That's Let's illegal. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. She's starting to kind of, like, come like, for real. I think you don't seem okay. Partner. <laughs> Which one? Partner. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. No, mama, mama. We're partners. I hope this place is what we're looking for. Yeah. God knows we could use a break. I know, right? But uh, is God really listening? Because there's a zombie <laughs> apocalypse outside. God's never fucking listening. That's a big joke. Oh, do you what want to know the? Do you want to know the canon reason why zombies came this to this world? Locked, which means that What's the canon reason? Space dust. In the first place. It's never said in the comics. Um, Rebecca uh, could have uh, been there. Be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Um, yeah, that's what but I'm the saying. creator kept being asked, like, what's, why, yeah. how did the zombies yeah. come? Hey, you need to pause it if you're gonna. Right. So, in the comics, they never explain what started the apocalypse. Right. So, after the series was over, Robert Kirkman, the creator, kept being asked, what started the Zimbambos? And he's just like, fuck it, space dust. Space. Yeah. So, canonically, everyone got infected because of space dust. So, they're, they're aliens. Yeah. The thing that turned, yeah, uh, space dust. Awesome. Versatility is not overrated. You know? Ah. Uh, you okay? Wouldn't hurt to try. No, <laughs> uh, Bean just came running at me. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Okay, we are looking for a little rock of some kind or something. Oh well, there's a cannon. Might work. If there's a cannonball in it. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Don't oh. call me Napoleon. They fill them with cement so they're safe. I just thought there might be a cannonball. I guess it's broken. Like everything else in my life. At least our legs aren't. Yeah, war, what is it good huh. for? Absolutely nothing. No, not even trash. I was hoping to find a raccoon, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess the raccoons are all dead now. They can't be all dead. Come to think of it, I've not seen a single animal. There are animals. There's some buildings mm. across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. <gasps> Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. A walker? Or a person. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming his way. Looks like a person. Who knows if he has friends nearby? Why is Could he we run for? Yeah. No idea. Oh. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates. With see, she does him. care. Let's just wait him out, distract him, him, or talk. Um, what do you think we should do? 
strategy wise strategically talking to him will let us know that we're out here and if he has a group they could be evil to distract him would be to also show aggression in some form I think the best choice would be to observe him Okay. if we observe him we can observe if he has more people yes about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. So let's just wait him out. Just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hide uh, in the cannon. <laughs> oh, hide in the trash can. Oh, hide behind the cannon that's making you really easily visible. How can I not well, be seen? He's not expecting to see someone. He's not looking, right? Oh, He's a kid. What the hell? Oh. Should we talk to him? He's trying to stuff a bag in there. Should we talk to him? He might have people. Yeah, you're right. So I guess not. we don't really have a choice. It seems like we don't have a choice and he's just going to keep doing that until we talk to him. No, we do. Okay. Oh, Speaking Russian. Russian. Um, don't hurt me. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. He's also just a kid, so he could know how dangerous kids are. But look at him shake look that gun. Look at that. Um, who are you? Do you understand me? You? Oh. And don't stop. Over. Jane. Uh, Arvo, put down the gun. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Mama Jane! Put the bag down. Dude, we were trying to be peaceful with you. Clint, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Sorry, but... No, I have no mm-hmm. more guns. I swear to we you. Painkillers. Sure not- Medicine. Anything? Wow. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Do you think he's lying? Um, well, you gotta no. pay more attention. What? I am paying attention. I, no, I'm I talking don't... to Nico. Oh. She keeps watching the TV and keeps looking away. I don't think he's lying because he his gun, he was shaking that gun like crazy, right? So he's obviously like just a scared kid. Yeah, but he's also a little bitch, so I mean. He's just some scared Russian kid. Alright. Is it just you and your sister? Yeah. Alright. All she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! <laughs> you are not I nice people! And now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are Whoa, hungry. chill. Hey, hey, we've it. got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's I love the more Rebecca dilemmas in, in this fucking game Penny's and series. Rebecca's in pain. We look should... at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Do okay, keep... okay. Do return... we keep it? Re- no, return the bag. All right. Yes, you must we don't believe, believe a me. fucking word about your sick. We will return the bag, I guess. Remember our generosity. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Exactly. So we're not, ra- we're not thieves. Thank you. Mama Jane just wants to protect us, and I understand that. Can we keep but the gun? But if we become, if we become thieves, oh, what are you doing? What? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Uh, what should we say? Um, don't what do are it. you doing? All right. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. 
I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. We got a gun out of it. She's I told you he's just some scared kid. Yeah, but when, to be fair, we just left him defenseless. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid hey. kid. Uh, we should, we go, should go get the others. Yeah. Go get everyone else. Mama Jane has seen yeah. some shit. Come on, Mama Jane. It's time you start to to think like a like okay, a mama yes. again. I'm gonna get this place open, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Do you think I that... knew that. Think the Russian kid's gonna come back for us? I don't know. I hope not. Oops, is that? That's Luke. Oh, I don't even, I can't even tell. Wait, when Clamp. did I take my glasses Clamp, hey. off? When did I take my that glasses observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't uh, guess much, but James We found shelter. The deck yeah. might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. <coughs> Check it out. Excuse me. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but I like at the same her. Time she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna like, like her. Just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a yeah. history with him. Uh, you're right, he's broken. He's guy. At least yeah. started as a good guy. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. I'm glad I mean, does he? Too. I hate Kenny. Can we just not talk about Kenny, Luke? No, I think Kenny's the only one who's going to survive. About the deck. Yeah, and you're okay. going to be... Mad and it's gonna be sad. Are you gonna be sad because Kenny's alive? Or are you sad that I'm mad? Um, I'm sad that Jane dies if that happens. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Babies know how to be born. I mean, he's right. The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer. It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. Um, get thanks. yourself all oh, sorry. over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Well, there the you go. Trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Hey Clem. Glad you made it back. Thank you. I'm scared and it hurts. Can you hug me? I wish Alvin was here. Can we hug her? Alvin was a good man. Alvin would be proud of you. Yeah. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I know so. What oh, happened to her eyes just I then? It's a waste of time. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. Um, he thinks he thinks Alvin. it's gonna be a girl. Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's gonna be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a girl. Boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Oh, I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. She's just freaking out because it's our first baby. All right, so we're not going to talk to Kenny, but we'll talk to Rebecca. How are you feeling, Rebecca? I knew it was going to hurt, Clint. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. 
We love you, though. We love you. Okay, so, let's uh, go. Go on. find Vaughn and Mike. Can we talk doing? to Sarah talking... again? No, I don't think we can. She's over there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Every little bit helps, I guess. My god, she walks so slow. Come on, Glenn. Pick up the pace. Sarah? Hey, Sarah. Okay. You're a friend, Sarah. We love you. Love you. Come on, let's go find Mike and Bonnie. They're dead. Maybe. We gotta look. One and a half miles? No, 1.2 miles. Bonnie? Uh oh. That's not a good sign. Bonnie? Hey, Clem. Oh, they're I safe. You went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? No, we found a place Why for Rebecca. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. We can give the baby Wait, gifts when it's born. Safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. You know, Mike. Mike, that's a good idea. Keep one eye Civil on War can him. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Well, cannonball, that could Jane be used to lo break the lock. Nah, right. they're just for show. Be handy, though. She has a gun. Really loud. Good point. Good point. Mike is cute. No, he's not. What do you mean? I don't think he's cute. He's a nice guy, but he ain't cute. Not in like attractive way, just the way he talks and the way he is. He's just like a cute person. Yeah, he's a good guy. The water cooler. Let's go make some conversation. stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way. Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. Empty. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Mike, need help? I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. All right. There are sure been some animals through here. Watch where you sit. Why is there poop? All right, nothing's over here. God damn it, nothing is here. Okay, so we go back. Yeah. Let's go find Bonnie. No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. What's in this room? What room? I tell you, Nothing. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah. He's got a know. point. Mm. Should we grab the Civil War coat? Yeah, I guess. Look at it. Hey, See. look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting Give it warm. to Rebecca! And someone could use it. I... Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad. Yes. About everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I'm uh, uh, I did. I haven't always used the best. Uh, you're with us. You oh, oh. sorry, I thought. What a bad person he was. That's no, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Just don't be bitchy to her because, like, the world sucks. We don't need to be bitchy to one but, another. But, uh, yeah. The, you know, uh, South? Oh. We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh. No, we can't. Oh, man. <laughs> than nothing, though. I didn't think about that. Oh God, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep the coat though. That's funny. Can you imagine? Do you see anything good? Yeah, right. Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Like literally, can we speed this up? A woman is having a baby. Yeah. 
Oh, it feels like they're constantly talking about the urgency of the situation, but they're also constantly dilly-dallying. Dilly-dally? Who says that anymore? What? It's from a show I like. What's the show? It's this uh, animated thing called... Um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Elliot Goes to School. I'll show it to you sometime. Okay. The creator of the series died um, uh, a few years ago. In there. And it me. sucks because he, he was a really funny guy. Ah, well, we're still gonna look. Maybe there's n more than junk in here. No, we're trying to open that closed thing. Drink. Ooh. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah. Maybe. Less than a gun. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right. All right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Don't you patronize us. <laughs> We're a us. I'm stuck. Okay. I've seen enough porn hub to know where this is going. Cave, she's eleven. Why do you make jokes like this on stream? <laughs> How about you pull? How about you pull? Don't push. Pull. Hit it in the fucking knee. Hit it in the fucking knee. Mike, don't forget Thank to hit you, it. Mike. Knee. Do it. Whoa. Well, that happened. <laughs> I love him. See what I mean when I say he's cute? Jesus. Thanks. Mary Joseph. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. I'm sorry <laughs> I asked you. I won't do it again. No, Bonnie, it's okay. it's okay. Bonnie, we love you now. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll we also got a Confederate now. Coke. Let's get this water. Thank you, Mike. Am I really strong enough to carry it? I'm barely strong enough to carry it. Let's get this water, little Come Clem. Come on, build some mes muscle. Thank you, Mike. We can still kick your ass, Mike. You admitted it yourself. Did you see the smile on her face? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot. But we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. What do you mean? Yeah, we'll make a plan. Oh. Hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. What now? There's a woman in labor and zombies everywhere. And you want it's a to raccoon! Oh boy. We, can eat we are not gonna I kill the raccoon! That raccoon. No, no! Fuck no, all of I you! Mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. We I are not! Go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! No! I don't want to do this! Where is it? No! Okay, baby. No! It's survival of the fittest. Yeah, they can all die. I think it went over Baby. There. I don't think you have a choice. There he is. He's coming your way. Block him. Wait, how do we know it doesn't have rabies? Oh, oh, shit. Grab it. No. Nope. too fast. Shit. We did have a choice. Um. Not with the walkers out there. See, it had a family, Cassandra! It had a family! Survival of the fittest. 
Okay, ow, ow, Nico. So if you want to go survival of the fittest, we should have stole those medicines from that kid. All right. Okay, you're fair, fair enough. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <laughs> Nico. Uh, when I get to a place where I'm sad, I'm not eating raccoon. Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, Aww. let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. See. I'm glad we didn't catch that yeah, raccoon. Well, it's in water. The first animal we saw at all was a raccoon. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I can do this all day. Sounds like uh, she's pregnant. Shit, shit. I think Rebecca oh, has. Breathe like I told you. Okay. 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 Oh, Sarah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got this. They, the only name that she remembered to say was Awers. I know, right? You just keep that baby safe. Yes. We can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Right Somebody now. Um, Mike, get Sarah. Yeah. Gotta get out of here. Mike, get Sarah. On it. Fuck the water. I like how Clementine's giving orders. <laughs> Sarah, get going. Yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. girl. Yes. Then he's gonna die. Good. He doesn't even have a lower jaw. He can't even hurt us. Clem, I, yeah. I think he's okay. He's losing it. No. I mean, that <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's fine. Need to get out of here. Sure. By saying he's fine, we're acknowledging he deserves to die as well as killing people. We don't need to help him. He's just taking all his anger out on this thing. Hello. No, stay there, Kenny. You're fine. Kenny may die. I hope he does. You know, the more you moan and groan like that, the more they're chasing us. She's in labor! You don't get to have an opinion on that one. <laughs> That's about as human as I've felt in a long time. What? Clementine. Did they fuck? Oh Jesus. my god. Uh... What should we say? Mama Jane fucked Luke. God. Oh my god. What the fuck? Say Luke, I guess? I... <laughs> it, it just happened. It, it, I wasn't to... Uh... Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got exactly. How many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know you Rebecca's got having the baby. Oh, Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No. No, Close later. The door. Sorry. Close the door. Shit. Right over here. Shit. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Well, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Uh, Shit, out or in? Out or in? We need everyone out here. You. I'll help outside. Okay. Yeah. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. They're so, out the help. You know, it'd be much easier if they stabbed them. There are too many of them. Shit. But then we'd have to get close to them. There's a little door. If we can just keep the door closed and stab them through it. Yes, this will block the gate. I'll help, I'm coming. Yeah, you better help, Luke. You're the one who sat there and fucked Mama. How dare you fuck yeah. Mama Jane? Yeah, With right? no fucking birth control. 
You probably got her pregnant. Jane, you're a good girl. Yes, Bonnie. Okay, but I can't. Help me, I'm trying. trying. You have to listen to me. Tara, trust me. Why? I'm so sorry, Kim. We tried. It just yes, we did. Thank you for going down there. Thank you for going down there. It wasn't your fault. Jane will remember that. Of course. Mama, thank you. Oh, shit. They're climbing up. What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? No, that's the whole point. Drop something on them. Yeah. Drop something else on them? Nothing that will stop. Them. Maybe we can drop the whole deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. The other the other part of the that. Yeah. Shoot it! Oh. Ready? We Maybe gotta run. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! There we go. No. The baby's dead. Is it a stillborn? Stillborn looks like it. Put a finger in its mouth. Try something. What happened? No. <gasps> it did it. It's alive. It survived. Well, well, now family. it gets to live in this fucking world. <laughs> Don't worry, this world gets better, I promise. Does it? What's the end like? You mean the end of the comic series? Yeah. It's basically they were building society. They already have electricity. <laughs> Literally, the kids... It, like, the last comic takes place 50 years after the main character dies. And it shows, uh -huh. his, like, his son as an adult. Uh -huh. And literally, kids... Of the new generation, don't even remember the danger. They don't even have the danger. Wow. I'll explain to you. That's right. He looks like Alvin. He looks like Alvin. Cause fuck Carver. Definitely. Thank you. So it's a boy. God, Alvin, you suck at guessing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Give her the coat. Why don't you give her that coat we found? <laughs> um, it's a little weird. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? I would. Do you want to hold him? <gasps> yes. Yes, please. Yes. Of course. Your family here. Oh, look at that guy. Cousin. Aww. We lost Sarah today, but we have a new cousin. Come for baby. There you go. We should feed it to the zombies. Look at you. Like I 
like a big sister. <laughs> Hell yeah. Here, let me take him. You both should rest. I wouldn't trust Kenny Especially with the kid. <laughs> When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. But somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. Don't kiss him. You got blood on your lips. That smell. Oh, he's smelling his head. She's falling asleep. Don't smell the baby, you fucking weirdo. No, that's really normal, actually. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Kenny, but that's a really normal thing, for real. Hey, you should put the coat on her. I mean, we gave it to her. It's up to her now. Yeah, but she looks really weak and pale. Ow, Nico, I get it. You want to play. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Why, Mama Jane? Uh, go where? Yeah, go where? Go where? She Just bit me pretty hard. Go away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not gonna stick around and... See me go like that? Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, Sarah, Mama. I thought you believed in me. I'm not like I'm them. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time... And everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, what should we say? I say just stay silent. Let her have her little speech. You'll see. Right. But I'm not gonna confirm or deny her Take little. Care yourself. I mean that. Yeah, because it's about working together. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Versatility is not overrated. Then stab her. Thanks. Yeah. I um. Uh... I gotta go. Hey. Okay. Um, you should, you should have thrown yourself down those stairs in case you got pregnant. You know? <laughs> she comes back pregnant six months later. Right. Hey, Luke, how was it getting I your dick wet from back. Mama Jane? You okay? No, I'm not. Sarah's dead. No. Mama Jane left. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. No shit, bitch. Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. No, you're just looking to fuck her again. Um, I don't what? think it'll be... Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? You guys only fucked once. You're not her lover. Right? Like, Jane was more on us than you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know, I just... Lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Is it weird? I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not. <sighs> Is it weird that I want to agree with Kenny? No, I mean, he's right. Th that was really at a time like that. You yeah. and Jane kept saying how time was of the essence, and then you stopped to fuck? fuck? Yeah, right. Of all things? Oh, yeah, yeah, don't forget that fucking Luke was like, hey, I'll keep a perimeter watch at all times. Yeah, and then he didn't, and then there was Zam Bambles came after us. Should we should we agree with Kenny this one time? I kind of think Luke deserves think... to hear us agree with Kenny. But we could also just say you're both fingers. You're right, because they are, and I hate Kenny. You're right. That's what we're doing. You guys are both 
acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, they I'm will sorry, remember. Okay, I fucked up. But you know what? James <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, really, but... Jesus Christ, I needed it. Okay, I mean, look around you. Okay, everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit hey, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to race him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Kenny, you ain't the baby's daddy. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. He keeps doing you. this. He keeps Looks adopting like children to man. replace his son. To Stop right. it, Kenny. We are not slow. duck. Whoa. That kid is not duck. Stop. Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby it's for snowing. me. It's snowing. It won't help the rest of us. Rebecca needs rest. Shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Rebecca looks like she's about to die. Yeah. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. It's snowing. <laughs> Nico, I know you want to play. You want you want my attention, I know. Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> Why is she coughing? What does that have to do with having a baby? She looks- she's looking very pale and sick. Yeah, I mean, the coughing is like... Seems like it's to reiterate that she's sick, but like... What does coughing have to do with her just having had a baby? I'm a little confused about that one. <laughs> Ow, that hurt that time. Oh my God. All right. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. Nico, it's okay right now. I feel like one of the men should be helping her. We should have left right away. Right. Instead of waiting around. Like, we could Kenny. Have more food and been I was warm thinking days Mike. We did the right yeah, thing. you're right. She Mike seems no the last one who's trying to have a dick competition. Now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. And we Bonnie seems pretty good with the gun. To that town before nightfall. Exactly. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done. Arguing like, isn't helping. Arguing isn't helping. Anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Yeah, oh, shut the fuck up, Luke. Be... Oh. Over here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca. Okay, the baby's baby. okay. <sighs> He's okay. No, Kenny, stop offering to take no. the baby. You rest for Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird. Looks right. You are being weird about it. He's not your baby, Kenny. I was just trying to help. Yeah, fuck you, Kenny. What is this? What? It's Arvo. That's Russian. Arvo? It's Arvo. Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look uh, like much. That ain't the point. Hello? We should help him. Uh, yeah, we should. We should help him. We kind of owe him one. We took his gun. All right. Kenny, put your Hello. fucking gun away. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. 
These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. Uh... How is your sister? Yeah. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Oh, why, why? Это они? Да. Это они. Well, we didn't even hurt you, dude. Why does this keep happening to us? Are we just stupid? Am I just stupid? What did he say? We don't want any trouble. Yeah. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. We didn't rob you, bitch ass. Hang on. What the hell? I get excited. What should we say? Let's work something out, or... You rob this guy? Maybe we can work something out. What do you mean? Well, what do you want? Um... I'm sorry, Clementine, but we are not here to make deals. Buriko is saying that we will take everything. Come on, we have a baby. He's doing this shit. We didn't rob you, we let you keep the medicine. This will be fine. We have a baby. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? We need a little girl. Where are you? Buriko, at that day. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it. I'll do it. No. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. They won't just umer yet. Where is happening? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Should we shoot oh her? God. We need to. She's a zombie, right? Well, if we shoot, there's a chance everyone else will panic. But there's also a chance by calling for help, the baby might die. I think we need to call for help. Yeah. That seems. No! Oh, wow. Well. It kind of went sideways either way. I didn't think that choice really mattered that much. No. Alright. So, oh. you and 41% of players saved Sarah at the trailer park. Yeah. Really? 41% saved her? Alright. You and 51% oh, of... Yeah. You and 51% of players refused to steal from Orvo? Good. Good. I don't think... We should have just fucking killed him. So, pragmatism, compassion, selflessness, nurturing, and survivalism. So, crawl through the ticket booth. You and 46% of players volunteered to crawl through, uh, helped, held the baby. 53% of players held the baby, and you and 53% of players did not shoot Rebecca. So, can I just say that Rebecca dying was so much worse than every other death so far? Is it because she was holding a baby? No, it's because of the way she died. When we turned around and she's just slouched over, completely frozen and just dead. And then she just moves and she's a zombie. That was somehow way more traumatizing than being bit and turning into a zombie. Yeah, see, that's the thing about this world. And I really like that aspect. Everyone is infected. But... And it's like, it's freaky. Yeah, because it's like... If you die, you turn, unless you get killed by something with the head. So explain to me how, in the future, how they overcome this problem. Alright, so, um, what happens is, uh, do you want to hear what leads up to it, or do you just want to hear, like, what happens? Whatever you think is relevant. Alright, so basically... 
the last kind of arc leading up to the final fucking chapter uh-huh. is Rick and friends being a small they have like there's like four societies civilizations all kind of trade routing they find mm-hmm. out there's a civilization that has power over 10,000 people and is sustaining itself but the way that it's sustaining itself is basically um it's like whatever you did in the old world before you know the apocalypse before the zombies is where your position in life will be in this world right Mm -hmm. so when rick and friends get there they're like hey that's unfair because people are about to you know rise up and fucking revolt but then rick Mm -hmm. so one of rick's men is like we need to do something we need to start a war and rick's like i'm done with fucking wars we don't need to start violence and he eventually um arrests the person who was in charge of that big town or the mayor let's call her they arrest he arrests the mayor after the town decides they want to make rick the new leader but rick is like nah i don't want to be leader so that night um the mayor's son goes into rick's house he was staying at and kills him so it shows kind of Carl as a teenager like 16 17 at this point he cries over his dad's death and then the next book comes and the next book shows Carl at the age of like good age of like 40 now and he lives in a farmhouse with his wife and daughter um and it kind of shows where all the characters or important characters are now. Um, Carl um, sees a roamer, you know, uh, a zombie, in, on his lawn, and he kills it, only to find out that zombie was property to someone else. So he kind of gets in trouble with the law. And you, we see the civilization, like, we see a city full of people and it's explained that the north the the east and the west are connecting of the united states and during this connection there's still like what's called danger zones you know but they're not they're few and far between now um so it's the 40 years that have come children don't know the the dangers that everyone went through and they call that the trials so Carl his wife a few other characters you know they grew up through it they grew up through the trials which is what this is happening right now this is counted as the trials um and basically civilizations going back to normal People don't have cars, but they're working on a train track that goes all throughout the United States. And um, some of the characters, you know, the ones that didn't die are still alive at this point, but they're all doing their own thing. Okay. Basically, basically. The, that doesn't actually answer my question. Zombies are not a problem anymore. How so are not, they not a problem anymore? Because society has grown to the point where when they see the dead, it's either for a game show or like a showing. It's like a show. Explain the dead, to me. Basically, society has gotten to the point where routes to the next city, there's no zombies. And if there is, there's like one or two. And they're easily why? killable. How? Because after the time jump, doing, okay, reading the comics, the we see our group learn ways to make sure the dead are not the problem anymore for example okay, what, there's ways the ways were shown at first were like they're on horsebacks traveling between trade routes through the, the cities the other cities or the other you know communities and during these trade routes if they see any zombies they kill them they keep tracks of what's called herds which the herds are big groups of zombies and they what they would do is um they would herd them you know They'd have people on horses making noises and lead them around a different path outside of the city so they don't walk through. So it's implied 
that in the Where future. Where else they get horses? They tame them. Not all animals are dead. Tame and bleed. Okay. Um, but there's a few time skips in the series. The first time skip happens um, after what's called... I don't the... like it. It seems very um, not thought out. No, it really is super thought out. I'm not explaining it well. That's the problem. Okay, like what they happens have... to the fact that when everybody dies, they just become a zombie? So That's what the hell the happens? Someone That's still dies. a thing. If someone dies, they just stab him in the head. You still gotta kill him. Wow. That's what's implied. It's it's like, okay, they don't really answer that in the last one, where the world is peaceful again. Or as peaceful as... It, it's showing that hope, to keep hope in. You know, okay. shit like that. It's... It's really good. I it's it's hard to working explain. on a cure. Huh? Ever? Does anyone ever work on a cure? Um no. Cuz at this point in society it's kind of like what's it's it feels like what's the point of working on a cure? There's a point in the series where Rick and his group meet up with a few other characters. And one of them's name is Eugene, who has a radio that doesn't have any batteries in it. And Eugene is explaining, we're going to Washington, D.C. to uh, this lab. And he's. we find out later that Eugene doesn't work for the government, as he says he does. But instead, he's actually a, a fucking high school science teacher. And... It's like... No one's working on the cure. Everyone found a way around life and how it should be. Yeah, but if they just worked on a cure, they wouldn't have to find all these convoluted ways to take care of zombies. They could just not but, have zombies. Okay, but the characters we follow and everything? How, how are we going to have an ex-cop, kids, or all these people who don't know anything about the body or the thing that's turning them? How are we supposed to have them learn how to make a cure when I'm not that's... saying that. I'm saying when he shows the new society, he could have shown that they're working on a cure. They could have. But... And like, I just don't get how they're literally run over by zombies because there are billions of dead people in the earth. Literally billions of dead people in the earth from, you know, the past... Hundred years. Well, that's the thing. Dead bodies don't reanimate. It's just when you die, if you're infected, if you're already dead before mm -hmm. infect. Well, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I should have said that. No. But there are still like millions of zombies because millions of people die every day. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't get me wrong. So they're run over by zombies. Then suddenly, ah, thirty years in the future, they are no longer run over by zombies. Well, that's the thing. Before the thirty-year time jump, we're already being shown how they take care of giant herds. We're shown how they take care of the zombies. Zombies okay, are a problem. Okay, so they, they like they like push them away. They lead them away. But yeah. then, like the zombies, eventually will hear sound again and come at you. Like, how do you just keep leading them away? Make a louder sound. Like, okay, the way they do it is if so, they it's notice... It's an insane way to live. It's an insane way to live, but they got it down to a science. Like, they could just find science to cure the they, disease. They could. But they didn't. It's still a really great story. Look, you need to find a cure for a disease... You need certain equipment. You need to do certain things. You have to test it on people. People are sick of that shit. There's, there's literally no one in the story till the end that is shown who is able to do that. <sighs> it just seems dumb to me. It's not. Like, the, the series is so fucking cool. I mean, that not the show. It seems like, a, a, like, to me, if I was reading that series and that was the ending... 
I would be really not um, satisfied. Well, that's the thing. That's not the point of the series. The point of the series is to keep hope. The morality of man. It's it's to show what you have to do and what's needed to be that's done. That's exactly it. Like, to me, that doesn't seem like hope. That seems like a really... That just still seems like an apocalyptic way of living. So to me, that doesn't seem like keeping hope. That seems like giving up. They just gave up on ever, you know, going back to being not living with zombies. No, they don't, though. Just because they're not looking for an active cure, that doesn't mean the whole world isn't looking for it. We follow our characters throughout the series. I told you, I'm not talking about those specific characters. Huh? I'm just talking in general. I mean, I get it, but the creator, that, that, that ruins, I guess, I can see how your point to be like, hey, someone's trying to find a cure now, but it, the characters are just trying to rebuild society as a whole and make it a better society than it was before. Good luck with that. I mean, they actually do a great job. Yeah, for 30 years, but, like, peace doesn't last forever. I mean, yeah, no, peace doesn't last forever. But the story has a really good conclusion. Like, the story ends on Carl reading to his daughter the story of his dad. Mm. And, like, because Rick, the main character Rick, becomes this, like, legend at the end of the series. Mm -hmm. Like, literally there's a statue of him but it's been so long into the future that kids are just like kids just kind of fuck around with the statue even and that kind of yeah 30 it's like 30 yeah it's about 30 years into the future yeah but i mean 30 years and kids are raised in a more normalized society where they don't have to see the dead where they don't have to fear the dead you got to think about it like that too Imagine growing up in this society, like Clementine is, right? Clem, mm-hmm. Carl, Sarah, the kids. Heck, if that baby lives, that baby. They're going through what they call the trials, which shows the worst of man. It's, it's to show what you're really made of. And if kids are born in a more normalized society after that, they wouldn't know nor even care, most of them. Do you think that the baby, or that they're going to just leave the baby to die? I hope not. Honestly, I don't remember. If you want me to be, like, super honest with you, I don't even fucking remember. I just think it's sad that the baby would have to grow up in this society. It's yeah. like a day old, but it's It really is sad. Well, Modi, I'm sorry that you walked in on a heavy convo. Like, we just finished this episode. I mean, honestly, Cassie, if you're up for it, we can do the next episode. What time is it? Uh, 12.10 for you. Yeah, we can do the next episode. Like the season finale. Are you are you up for it? Nah. Um, how long is it? It's gonna be another like hour and a half to hour forty five minutes. I think we should wait until tomorrow. Right. I would really rather not Sup, have buddy. this. Yeah. I would really rather not do this right before I go to sleep because I'm just gonna dream about it. All right. Well, we're going to end stream here then. I hope you all enjoyed the talk about The Walking Dead. Next time, we'll finish the season. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed.